Hey guys, welcome, welcome to Outpouring Gates. I have a message for you guys. As you guys see, this is titled, um, God Spoke to Me About the Gospel of Prosperity. Now, I understand that this gospel is like slandered, chopped up, destroyed, cut down by the church. Uh, for some reasons, for rightful reasons, uh, for some reasons, it is, you know, misconstrued in a way. Now, what I'm going to share you is a puzzle piece. It is not the whole understanding of the gospel of prosperity, but it's a puzzle piece, a specific section that God had spent time and revealed to me in this word. As always, please pray about this. Please have your discernment from the word of God, from scriptures about all that is going to be shared in here. You're going to know that this is something connected to um, the actions of the Lord. But as always, please, please, please go to Christ about this and don't sit with yourself, all right? Um, once again, welcome to this Outpouring Gates channel. Um, if you're interested in everything that is else going on here, please take a venture, look around the channel, check out the prayer services, the studies I have, um, some of the other prophetic uh, announcements, words, visions, revelations, all these things I share here on this channel as well. It'll help you even more so than just this word, understanding what God is doing in this prophetic season. Um, involving the church and the world, okay? So, gonna get in this word. Please share this with everybody. I believe this is gonna really, really help uh, the church see a sharpened uh, perception that God is wanting us to uh, uh, work towards and uh, surrender and yield to. Amen? So, <clears throat> receive this word from the Lord. It says, My time comes... The church is looking in the wrong direction. Yield to my spirit and see what I see, says the Lord. I am all in all. Hallelujah. Got to be aware, church. I will provoke fruit out of those yielding to my spirit. My church will be a house of my name, says the Lord. He said, my heart shall be the framework and position of the pulpit. At this time, I began to see a vision as God was speaking to me after this. After he spoke to me, I saw, I see eyes of the church fully aware. They were fully aware of the spirit of Christ in the atmosphere. And their eyes are fixated only on what the pastor is saying. I saw also that this pastor was not speaking from themselves but this pastor was totally speaking from a heavy, heavy spiritual anointing on him. It was like there was a great amount of oil that was poured onto this pastor who was standing in the pulpit where the church was so fixated on his words. It was a very powerful manifestation of the, the spiritual oil manifesting on an individual, an instrument of the Most High God. I saw in this vision where... This heavy spiritual oil caused the manifestation of God's word to help this man not quit preaching. I saw where he wasn't preaching of his own labor. He wasn't preaching based on what power he had. He had been connected and um, intertwined with God to a point where the spirit of might, the spirit of, of God was truly on him to continue to preach the word and to uh, deliver and manifest the word based on the influence, the power of only the Holy Ghost. I understood in some in this peculiar vision that he was not working at all on his own influence, nothing of his own mind, even his discernment wasn't his. He had been become a, a truly molded vessel, a instrument, a powerful force standing in the pulpit that the, the people who are watching him weren't witnessing just a spoken word from God, but they were witnessing the blowing, the force, the power, the, the manifestation of intertwining with the vessel who was yielded to a heavy oil anointing and empowerment. In this vision, I understand that his words are supernatural due to them being one with God's heart. It wasn't what he said about the word of God or him being one with the word of God. It was that the heart of God was one with him. And in that prophetic utterance, he was speaking exactly what God wanted to present 
in that present time. It wasn't a it wasn't an off word in a wrong season. OK, it wasn't a off word in a wrong season. So as this vision continued, I understood that this man was a real instrument. As I saw this, the vision began to end as him just being this amazing, oiled, heavily and oiled up, uh, uh, empowered individual as an instrument of the Most High God. The Lord began to speak to me after this vision, and he said to me, the church will sing a new song. The church will sing a new song. He said, they will be my vessels of glory, but from oneness with my spirit oneness with my spirit. He said, truth shall be in their lips of my word. I will send them to the nations, carrying them with my message. I understood the message of God as he spoke was like a ark. These people weren't just carrying the word. The word was carrying them like a ark, going to different locations, British locations, European locations, Asian locations, locations domestically within their nation. All these things, wherever God had the word to be preached and for that ark to settle down in, amen, that that provision was in the message. And wherever that provision settled down in is where the supply, the manifestation, this power was released, where people watched the word manifest and was not just witnessing it uh, being infilled into their ears. So once again, the Lord said to me, I will send them to the nations, carrying them with my message in that location. I began to see another vision where I saw where they became real manifestations of his word. Like it was like a scripture carried out supernaturally, as if you were to take a phrase of Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. If you took a phrase of Psalms 91, if you took a phrase of Isaiah 60, arise and shine for my light has come. These verses were literally being like a showcasing movie, um, a epic movie that uh, could not be denied. Nothing like it, nothing replicated. Um, it put witchcraft and all that dark uh, power to, to shame. It put complete uh, desolation to that type of influence, the way this was taking place and manifesting. All right. The Lord continued and showed me in this that the supernatural that was being watched by the people as the scripture was playing throughout this person's vessel was a true instrument of God. They, uh, the Lord said to me, this instrument, this mentality is all because they are for the Lord. And what I mean by for the Lord, a lot of us will say, oh, I'm for the Lord. No, it's a sacrificial obedience for the destiny of the kingdom to manifest above their breath and all else of their own heartbeat. This is the level that these instruments of God were in one with the Lord. They did not have an agenda of their own life, but their life was truly a sacrificial offering, not for the destinies of their own dreams and what they wanted, but the destiny of what the kingdom of God, the heart of God had relayed to them in times of prayer in personal encounter with the Lord. Amen. So as I saw this, the Lord began to speak and he said this, the gospel of prosperity to a level of undeniable truth and reality is what the Lord is revealing to me. It was such an excitement, such a joy, such a zeal I was receiving as God spoke this in my heart as well. The Lord began to continue to speak and he said, my church will be sent on my name. It's going to be on his name only. There is no other authority, no other name, no other will, no other desire. His name only. A true delivered a truth delivered by me in full capacity of revelation deposited in them. God said, a church unstoppable by my encounter to them, a force to blow my power forward. Think about someone blowing an instrument 
Where does the flow go? It always goes forward. It always goes forward. This is how power is released, the forward force, the forward blowing. The Lord then said to me, I will shift the lane of Christ away from pastors without fire uh, and bring the position to those unheard of for a time and a season. Gospel of prosperity. This isn't explaining the whole thing, but this is something for you to see a very true lane that is very sharp to what God is doing. It's the oneness that brings the prosperity of the gospel. Amen. The oneness of giving that word, that prophetic word in the right season of what God is speaking now at that present moment. The Lord then said to me, I will bring out those who lie about my name, guiding my lost sheep to my pastors, the real ones, the manifestation of oil, like I had explained, the ones who are carrying this capacity of the truth and reality of God, that scripture manifested, these pastors. He said, I will bring out those who lie about my name guiding my lost sheep to my pastors sent for my purpose of the word. And so this is the end of the word. Very, very to the point, very specific. Once again, I received this at towards, it had to be the 31st or the 30th of July. I'm sorry. That was a very busy week for me and I didn't record the date, but I know the week I did it. Please send this to as many people as possible. This is a very powerful word to clear the air of what such um, debacle is going on in the church. Uh, once again, this is not the whole gospel that refers to prosperity, but this is something God wanted to point and reveal that he is working on a lot of people for a future time, a future season. So uh, get your roots deep, make sure your seeds are planted in singular soil of Mount Zion, the kingdom of heaven. Let's have seeds and soil from one source of God's location and territory. Remember, you're in you're a sheepfold in a certain location of the shepherd's territory. That means set that soil, seeds, grass, or green pastures of his desire, his mindset is for us to graze and take in and consume. Amen. Please share this to as many people as possible. Once again, if you're interested in the outpouring gates of what is here, please take a venture in this channel. So many things. Please venture to the prayer services. I tell you, they're incredibly anointed no matter if they're now and on Wednesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time or the week after or the next year or the previous year. The anointing is very powerful. Um, if you could, there are other studies that will help you and show you uh, what it means to walk with the Lord and encounter him and his presence such a gift of, of keys to the kingdom are released in those studies. Please take a look at that. And by all means, take a look at the description box below. Uh, appreciate all those who uh, want to give and release uh, their offering here. And, and all glory to God that please pray about that. Speak your assignment into your seeds. What does that mean? Get into a prayer time whenever you uh, want to give and ask the Holy Spirit, what is this seed I want to release uh, based on your desires and your mind? Remember, the mind of Christ is yours. Yours is supposed to be subdued by the mind of Christ. Amen. God is to live in the heart and subdue your own mind with his own mindset. Uh, this is why we are imparted his mind as a gift, as an inheritance, as a glory to uh, crown ourselves and rewards that are coming only from his mindset. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. I'll see you later, OP family. And uh, until the next one, bye.